Hello everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am The Sipping Tea, and today I'm going to show you some gameplay along with my commentary of the Armadillo. So, without further delay, let's get into it. So here I'm going to charge straight up the center of the map, straight towards the enemy base. Uh, the objective of this particular game for me is to get as much spotting assist as I uh, can achieve safely on this map. So I'm not going to focus too, too much on shooting the enemy, just really, uh, as I say, spotting the enemy, which I seem to be doing reasonably well here, seven enemies spotted so far, um, and racking up hopefully a fair bit of spotting damage. So I'm up to eight enemy tanks now that I have managed to spot, which isn't too bad, given I have my platoon mates here with me, uh, also in light tanks who are no doubt also competing for those spotting tanks and spotting assist. Here I am now changing the location from the enemy base as uh, I, I nipped in there briefly just to let them know that I was here uh, in hopes to distract them and maybe pull them back towards their base so they're not quite as concentrated in one area. Um, I popped the smoke back there just to ensure that uh, I don't get shot in the backside as I escape a rather significant wad of enemy tanks that was around there. Uh, I'm now moving in to assist my platoon mate with this Type 80-2, um, a reasonably strong tank. Um, I believe it is actually the top tier tank um, for the Chinese line in Era 2 of the medium, so important to uh, keep that in mind and give it respect. Uh, unfortunately, my platoon mate in the BMP-2 has been destroyed relatively early on in the game which is a real uh, unfortunate turn of events so I've now decided that I think it's time to relocate into uh, the side of the map just here. It's often where the enemy really does like to congregate and uh, you know jostle for the spaces around these villas and I would imagine that there are going to be lots of enemies up and around this hill and indeed yes there are and oh dear I've managed to crash straight into the T-72 dealing lots of damage to myself but uh, I suppose he's most welcome for that given that he did manage to miss the point blank shot on me as I did so but it's time for me to make a quick escape and uh, here we go over the bridge and here comes a little jump on the bridge time to do the uh, Dukes of Hazard impression and there we go style points all round everyone uh, trying to help my team here with the m60a1 as of course it is um, rather stacked in the enemy's favor around here uh, by the quantity of tanks um, hopefully we'll be able to finish this guy off relatively quickly we do manage to do that thankfully it's time for me to beat a hasty retreat and unfortunately I get shot in the rear as I make my escape putting me down to a measly 70 points of HP which really is not a good position for me to be in However, where I am failing miserably in regards to my own safety and well-being, my fellow platoon mate has managed to kill an enemy tank, which uh, only bolsters our position. But unfortunately, we go from a position of really good strength all the way down to seven of us and six of the enemy uh, as we lose three tanks in quick succession. And unfortunately, my last surviving platoon mate is also killed though at least he managed to take his killer with him so at least we uh, are no worse off in numbers i've dashed back around to that same sort of hill area with the villas just to see if those enemy tanks are still there we have that light tank uh, and the heavy tank there outnumbered three of us versus the two of them i'm going to nip back round now i'm taking a quick glance at this t72 just because well if i can uh, lower his hp a little bit then i shall but note the bmp2 just poses too much of a threat so i um pop the smoke shoot at t72 
and well the fun is cut short prematurely as our my team has capped the base however that does mean that we've won i've managed to secure second place which is not too bad I do hope you have liked the video, I certainly enjoy making them. Uh, if you're not already subscribed then please do click the like and subscribe button. Also down in the description you'll find links to my Patreon and also my Twitch so please do check those out. But with that being said, thank you ever so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.